there's there's so many of them, and like most Vietnam veterans, you, you're a bit reluctant to sort of open up about many things. But again, principally um, this special relationship of Nine Squadron and the SAS. Uh, within a few days of me arriving in Vietnam, uh, I was co-pilot on a insertion of a SAS patrol that is written about in virtually all the, the stories of the SAS in Vietnam. You'll hear or you'll read about the tractor job. And the tractor job was uh, involving this tractor that had been stolen from a French rubber plantation that the Viet Cong were using to transport a fair bit of equipment, uh, towing a, a trailer down a, a track up to the north of Nui Dat. They knew it was happening. And so the SAS were commissioned to basically get rid of that tractor. And so a lot of planning went in because uh, number three, uh, some of the number two SAS squadron had only just arrived in Vietnam at that stage, about the same time I did. And this was one of their first jobs, a fairly big job uh, or important job. And, uh, and for me, this was absolute new stuff. You know, the, the terrifying stories of putting a, a, an SAS patrol on the ground, taking only seconds to do it and getting out and doing that in a way that uh, other units around the jungle wouldn't have known where you landed, wouldn't have known what's going on, and, and that was the routine. And so here's me co pilot my very first SAS insertion. We uh, are not able to actually put the skids on the ground, which often happened. So we're hovering at low level, and one of the SAS soldiers getting out of the aircraft severely damaged his ankle. He uh, really did a, a big job. It wasn't broken, but it was uh, sprained in a number of different ways. And, and right away, they knew that this guy was a liability on the ground and uh, he couldn't stay. And so having taken off from this little area where we just put this patrol, we were asked to go back and collect this guy who uh, had done a job on his ankle. And so we basically did a quick circuit and went back into the same spot, picked up this injured man, took him away. Um, and that was extremely unusual. I don't think it ever happened again that they sort of went twice into the same spot uh, in inserting. Uh, the, as I say, the, the story the SAS tell of this being an incredibly successful operation uh, the first night they made sure they knew exactly what was happening. They dug uh, explosives into the track where the tractor went and detonated the next night when the tractor was on top of it and, and uh, destroyed the tractor and killed a lot of VC and, and had a very successful time. And would you believe that, that I was also the co-pilot on the helicopter that pulled that patrol out? So I have this link with the tractor job that the SAS write about. And apart from the, uh, the sort of heart pounding first SAS operation, uh, I mean, that, that lives in my memory as something that was good. Uh, the Air, the, the uh, army sergeant in charge of that patrol was awarded the mention in dispatches for that patrol. And as I say, at a reunion very recently, we, we uh, again discussed how, how good it was that everything went well for that, despite the uh, crook ankle and the, the need to go back and reduce the patrol by one.